Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about Microsoft saying that Windows is evolving into an agentic OS. And I've posted a couple of videos on this. And yesterday I let you know that Microsoft had revealed how Windows is going to be evolving into an agentic OS. I'll leave the video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like more information. Now, just to let you know that with the rollout of this week's latest dev and beta channel inside a preview build, 26220.7262, Microsoft is letting us know how the practicality of this is all going to work. So how it's actually going to start being implemented on your PC. So I thought this may be a good time just to explore this a little bit further, seeing that this has gained quite a bit of interest. So if we head over to an image provided, the latest Windows 11 preview builds, now include a new toggle called Experimental Agentic Features. The description reads, when this is on, agents can use Windows Agentic Features, which according to Microsoft, as I've mentioned previously, is designed to allow AI agents to run on your PC. Now, according to Microsoft, this new toggle is designed to allow agents to use new Windows agentic features, which obviously are going to be rolling out in the future. With Microsoft saying, and I'm quoting, the future will work with AI-powered apps, which help you automate everyday tasks like organizing files, scheduling meetings, or sending emails, so you can spend less time on busy work and more time on what matters most. Microsoft carries on to say, one powerful way apps are implementing AI today is by interacting with your apps and your files using vision and advanced reasoning to click, type, and scroll like a human would. Quote, unquote. That's a little bit scary, I suppose, which side of the fence with this you're sitting on. Like a human would, as mentioned, a very simple abbreviation of agentic means in certain circumstances, the AI can actually think for itself and you don't have to interact with it. So as mentioned, this is just the practical implementation of how Microsoft is going to start implementing this in Windows eventually. This is in the dev and beta channel at this stage. So basically, just to sum this all up, the AI will be able to run things for you by getting access to apps or folders to perform actions on your behalf. And those agents, when this feature becomes available and is toggled on, will be able to let those agents run in the background all the time. And I wonder how this is going to affect PC performance. But the good news is, at least at this stage, there's a toggle to turn the feature off. And this is in Devon Beta, so I'll keep my ear to the ground with this. And obviously, if I get more information, I'll let you guys know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is this something, when it becomes available in the stable, that you would turn on or use? But what I'm seeing in the comments, it doesn't seem likely that most viewers of this channel will be implementing an agentic change on their PCs if and when that becomes available, which I'm sure it is because Microsoft is now on a mission lately, making all kinds of announcements over different social media platforms, as I've mentioned, that Windows is going to be evolving into an agentic OS, like it or not which obviously has caused a bit of debate. Let me know your thoughts down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.